presidential election. There's been a lot of concern about that, and I think there, there are three reasons for it, and they're understandable. First one was it was very confusing because of the 10 people running for president, uh, quite a number of them uh, were actually running for Fox News commentator or a midlife crisis or selling books or doing marriage counseling, and that they weren't all actually running for president, and it was very confusing. Uh, and so you're trying to figure out what to do because people did and said odd things, not if you're trying to be a TV commentator, not if you're selling books, uh, and not if you're having fun, uh, but odd if you're running for president. Uh, then there were, I mean, the, the governor of Minnesota, who was actually running for president, realized he couldn't. He quit. And the other guys are going, what did you quit for? We're still selling books. We're still doing fun. Um, so, but again, 10 guys, many of whom weren't really running for president. Then you had the situation that all 10 of them were largely Reagan Republicans. And so for voters who don't spend all their time looking at people's track records or nitpicking different things about their policies, they're all perfectly acceptable, which is, they're all Reagan Republicans. This was not one of these elections where, that we're used to, right? Taft, Eisenhower, skirt, you know, skin shirts, pick up teams, okay, go to your corners, we know what we're doing. Goldwater, um, Rockefeller, okay, we got it. Nixon, Rockefeller, Reagan, Bush, we, we everybody, you know, whistle blows, everybody knows where to go. This time, all 10 guys were basically Reagan Republicans, and so we had this serial monogamy thing going on where everybody said, oh, we like Herman Cain. No, we like Michelle Bachman. We, and then they wander from one to another, and we're going, what are they thinking? They're being flighty. No, they're, just, they're all perfectly acceptable. You walk into a room full of beautiful women. Who do you talk to first? Doesn't matter. Okay, they're all pretty. Um, you know, all these 10 candidates, they're all fine. Why not? Um, and so people wandered around uh, until we finally got one. Uh, then you also had the distraction, while we're trying to have a discussion about which Republican nominee to pick to be president, that the junior varsity over here, who aren't allowed to play yet in this season, are just, um, did you see what Chris Christie just did? Did you see what Bobby Jindal just did? Did you see what Scott Walker just The junior varsity is just wowing everybody over here. And the varsity guys are being adequate, right? But they're not you know, sitting governors now doing interesting things with Republican legislatures, and these guys are just, which is very healthy for your bench, but disconcerting when you keep looking over here going, you know, if he were a couple years older and a few inches taller, he could play varsity this year. Um, and in point of fact, they all will play varsity someday, just not this election. So that was disconcerting, in, but, but a healthy way, not a, not a problematic way. 